said my prayers. When I got clean, it just got worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. It don't work, it hurts. That is not how somebody gets saved, number one. And number two, that is not what salvation is. Salvation is not God just coming in and being like, oh, okay, now you don't struggle with that sin anymore. That's nonsense. That has, that's not what the Bible says. And uh, that's Satanism, what he's saying. Because he's saying that calling on the name of Jesus doesn't work. That's blasphemy. But it, keep watching. Man, we built this house when my days end and it's vacant and they bury me with that only key my biggest fans gonna break in with a ouija board and a box of chalk drop pentagram hail satan try to bring me back from that wooden box y'all tried to fill my grave with then i'll sit on the roof at the right so he starts off by calling these people his biggest fans and saying that they're gonna come in with a ouija board and chalk and draw a satanic pentagram and invoke the power of the devil to bring him back to life, which Satan does not have power to do. But Satan wants to be worshipped as God. Why is he including this in his music? I don't understand. I like this song Brainwash that he just came out with. And he's 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 a good rapper. But you have to wonder, why is this guy not getting banned from YouTube? Why is he not getting banned from these social media platforms if he's speaking truth? There's something else going on here. Now, I haven't listened to all this guy's music, but I've been combing through a few songs that I just found brainwashed, and I had heard uh, that Woke song that he did, Fake Woke. I really like that, so I've been listening to some of this music. And yeah, out of the five songs of his that I have listened to, probably six if you include that Dear Slim, Three of them are satanic. They tell you be yourself and then they judge you on the internet that everybody hates you for it. If Jesus was alive, I swear to God, they would cancel him. If Jesus were alive, I swear to God, they would cancel him, he said. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. It is not if Jesus were alive. Jesus Christ is alive. He died and rose again. So he's subtly insinuating that the resurrection did not happen by proclaiming that Jesus is dead. That's Satanism. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Ever liveth. <laughs> 